Hello guys and gals, and welcome to uh, another episode of Rune Words. Uh, by the uh, crystalline sword in my hand, uh, you can uh, maybe guess what Rune Word we're going to be talking about today, and that is grief. Grief is a extremely interesting Rune Word, because uh, one of the things about grief is that uh, it doesn't show up in the character panel. Um, we're going to be talking about grief today, and it's probably going to be a, a little bit of a, a longer video because there are some interesting things to go over when it comes to grief. And uh, one thing that you need to know about grief, though, is that it is uh, an amazing rune word. Um, the runes to make a grief are Eth, Tear, Low, Mal, Ral. And uh, it's not a extremely expensive rune word, with the most expensive runes in it being the Low Rune. And the Mal rune. Mal runes are not extremely hard to come by, but the low rune there is probably one of the more rare runes, and uh, and it is sought after a lot, specifically because of uh, fortitude armors and uh, and things like that. So uh, so do keep that in mind. And um, as we look at the uh, the grief fa fa phase blade, I want you to note one thing: is that phase blades do not have durability, and the reason why people will make grief in a phase blade. Um, is specifically so they do not have to worry about the lack of durability on the blade. Uh, phase blades, for some reason or another, have no durability whatsoever, despite the fact that they are um, crystal swords, which crystal swords, you know, tend to be the easier to break. But if you uh, if you use a crystal sword, crystal swords do have durability, and uh, and the the other blade, which is also a crystal sword, which is the um, I can't even remember the name of it off the top of my head, um, also has durability. So uh, it's important to note that. Now, uh, when we look at the item, let's go to the website and we'll take a look at the variables, shall we? So, uh, right off the bat here, we see that we have 35% chance to cast level 15 Venom on striking, uh, which is about, I think it's like 300 some odd damage that is uh, just added to our attack. Let's take a quick look, shall we? So level 15 is uh, 305 to 325 poison damage. And that's literally all that is. It's just if I uh, get a nice hit off, I'm going to have a good 300% or 300 uh, poison damage added to my attacks, which is very nice. Uh, we also have a plus 30 to 40% increased attack speed, so that is a variable there. And uh, and it definitely would be nice to have the, the higher amount not the uh, the lower amount of attack speed. We also have a damage component of plus 340 to 400 damage. And, uh, and this is just raw damage that is added to our attack. And it's important to think about this, um, this particular number because it doesn't show up in the character screen. It says plus 400 damage, but, but where's my plus 400 damage? I mean, I'm already doing... Uh, 311 to uh, 337 because of the venom proc, and you put the sword on and uh, and combine it with the uh, the attack rating and damage and things like that on my weapon, and uh, and it doesn't seem like that 400 damage is even applying, um, and this is because of something that that has been known for a very long time is called the lying character panel. Uh, the character panel does not report everything. Um, it is it is something that has uh, has been known for a very long time, and uh, people have had to figure this stuff out on their own. Now, the 400 damage is added directly to the minimum and maximum damage of the weapon. So, for instance, if I have one-handed damage of 35 to 40, um, you're just going to go ahead and you're going to add that directly to the min, so 435 to 440. So, my, dam my weapon is now doing 435 to 440 damage damage. And grief applies in a very odd way, and it doesn't quite work the same way as plus min and plus max, um, but it does work as plus min and plus max. And the reason why I'm going to tell you that it doesn't work as plus min and plus max is because vengeance is an ability that specifically requires plus minimum and plus maximum damage, but grief does not work for it. So if you plan on building a Conviction Paladin, keep this in mind, because Conviction does not work with the plus damage bonus on Grief. Um, if you're going to make a Conviction Paladin who's using Vengeance, uh, you would be better off using a uh, Breath of the Dying, uh, which has more raw damage, which is exactly what you need. And um, 
The next thing on here is we have Ignore's Target's Defense, which is always nice to have on a weapon. Just means you're going to have absolutely no trouble hitting anything that's not a boss. You've also got negative 25% Target's Defense, which is going to help you out with those monsters that are not affected by the Ignore's Target's Defense. Uh, we also have a huge bonus damage to demons here of 1.85%. Uh, per level, so at level 99, you're looking at 185% damage to demons. Uh, 5 to 30 fire damage, which is kind of moot considering all the amazing effects on here. Uh, negative 20 to negative 25% enemy poison resist, which is going to increase the amount of damage that you're getting from uh, Venom. And uh, then on top of that, uh, we have the uh, Prevent Monster Heal and the Deadly Strike. So Deadly Strike is going to double the damage that you deal. And um, it's only a 20% chance, but you can combine that with things like uh, like High Lord's Wrath or um, I'm trying to think of another double damage item right off the top of my head. But High Lord's Wrath is definitely a nice one to have on a Zealer. Um, Prevent Monster Heal is very nice, but it does not work on Ubers. And, uh, and it is just it's very nice to have Prevent Monster Heal on a weapon, though, because it will prevent the monsters that you're attacking from being able to regenerate. Like I said, the only ones that doesn't work on is the the Ubers, and you just kind of have to take that as a as as it will. Um, and then on top of that, we also have plus two to mana after each kill, which is absolutely great for certain classes that don't have very high mana costs. Uh, for instance, Zeal, even at its mo maximum, only costs uh, two mana per cast. So if you're killing monsters relatively quickly with Zeal, um, it's going to restore most of your mana back uh, per kill. And, uh, and then, of course, we have 10 to 15 life after each kill, which is a variable. And um, and it's uh, it's definitely an interesting one. I mean, a lot of people probably don't rely on life after each kill, but it's certainly nice to have, especially if you're killing things in fast succession. You can, uh, can shump your life back up rather quickly. Now, um, Grief has a lot of interesting uses and has become one of the major weapons in the game for, for its obvious effect, which is that 400 damage uh, to just added straight to your attack. And there are a lot of characters that Grief works extraordinarily well on. Um, now, there is a hot contention throughout the community of which ones are the absolute best and which ones are are not. And um, like, for instance, I have had some people on my YouTube channel uh, specifically come and tell me that Asteron's Iron Ward is a hot contender for, uh, for Grief. Uh, believe it or not, um, Grief is apparently very, very good at taking monsters' HP down to a certain percentage, but then for some reason or another, it uh, it kind of lacks on the actual killing of the monster. And um, the parses that I've been sent from players have basically said that Asteron's Iron Ward is a close contender to Grief as far as smiters are concerned. So uh, if we go and take a look at Asteron's Iron Ward, I actually have that on one of my characters. Uh, da -da -da. I can't remember which one though. Pretty sure it's scepters. There we go. Good day. And there it is right there. So Astron's Iron Ward is 144 to 167 damage. Um, it has 4 to combat skills, which is a lot of combat skills. 10% uh, increased attack speed. Um, it has a similar effect to Grief. Believe it or not, that plus 85 is actually very similar to Grief. It also has a huge magic damage bonus of 80 to 240, as well as 33% crushing blow, slows target by. Um, it's a very interesting weapon, and I've been told by quite a few people that Astron's Iron Ward has um, a very similar use case to a grief weapon for a smiter and um, and this is important just simply because if you're considering the two uh, which one is easier to come by well the answer to that question is neither honestly if i found an asteron's iron ward i would probably just use it and if i had the runes for a grief and i made it i was able to make it i would probably just use a grief if I was one of those lucky devils who actually had both items sitting in the wings and I wanted to figure out which one would be better, I could, of course, test them and see which one would be better. Um, it's really just a matter of finding out, um, you know, through parsing. And uh, that was one of the uh, things that was sent to me, by the way. So if before you, you kill me in the comments, uh, let me say that I did actually take a look at the parses between Grief and Asteron Iron Ward. And it definitely did seem like the Astron Irons Ward, as far as PVM was concerned, uh, was one of the better choices. 
And um, and it wasn't by much, by the way. I mean, they were very, very close together. Um, the moral of the story that I could determine from the parses was Grief takes the monster down faster from full HP to low HP, and Astron's Iron Ward takes the monster down faster from uh, mid HP to low HP. So, so Grief wins in the reducing the total monster's HP down to a a smaller amount, but Astron Iron Ward finishes the targets off quicker. This is basically what I what I got from the parse. And uh, and if you want to look up that parse, um, I will I'll put it in the comments. You can take a look at it. Um, maybe it doesn't mean anything. Maybe it does. But um, you know, if you're one of those min maxers and you'd like to have the absolute best weapon possible for your smiter or whatever character you're on, I'm sure you might be interested in looking at the differences between the two items. But uh, you know, maybe you're having a hard time getting an Astron's Iron Ward anyway, and you're just going to use Grief in the meantime. And maybe once you finally do find an Astron's Iron Ward, um, you'll uh, you'll take a look at the parses and see if one is better than the other. Um, but Grief is, of course, used for many different characters who use melee damage. Um, I believe Barbarians use Grief, uh, you know, Paladins use Grief. Um, I think even some Druids use Grief because it does have 40% increased attack speed on there. Um, it really depends on, on your particular character's use base scenario. Like I said earlier, um, my particular Paladin, who is a Vengeance Paladin, cannot get any bonus from the 400 damage on uh, Grief, which means that Grief doesn't do him any good whatsoever. So as a Vengeance Paladin, I'm not interested in Grief. I'm interested in something like uh, Breath of the Dying. And, um, I mean, all together, when you look at all the effects on Grief, you really get an idea of, like, hey, this is just an amazing weapon. I mean, it's got poison damage, it's got negative poison uh, da uh, resistance on there, it's got deadly strike for du double damage, it's got ITD, it's got negative targets defense, it's got plus damage to demons, it's got the mana after each kill, the life after each kill, and then just a huge, just boof of extra damage right on top which is that that 400 damage from the grief and um it's a, it certainly is a very amazing sword and you can tell why grief has become one of the most popular weapons uh for zealers and uh smiters and uh, barbarians and things like that just simply because it is such an amazing weapon anyway i hope you've uh learned a little bit today about uh, one of the more ridiculous weapons in Diablo 2 Resurrected. And maybe if you are a zealer or a smiter and you're shooting for this particular weapon, now that you uh, now that you know about it as a newer player, you might uh, save up your low rune and your mal rune and, uh, and uh, make yourself a really nice grieve. Um, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching these videos and uh, keep watching.